Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here, and welcome to another Blu-ray DVD shopping video. Well, today's not technically Tuesday, it's Wednesday, because yesterday I was at uh, Disney. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check that one out. But since it's not Tuesday, I can't call it DVD Tuesday shopping, even though it is, you know, Tuesday titles. But I'm going to try and go to um, this one record store called Lose Records. I'm going to go there. They're not open that late, but I'm going to try and go there, see if they have anything new. I haven't been there in about a year or so. Sometimes there's certain places like that I like to go, like, after a long period of time to see if they end up getting anything new and then I'll go to Best Buy and Target um, and Walmart not sure about fries I'm going to go to a different area you know because I have to go a little bit out for lose records but I'm going to see if there's any other places too around that area to look at so anyway though let's get going well here we are at lose records Remind me of like the old blockbuster cases and tapes years ago since they're so sun drenched. Like, look at how sun drenched these are. It's like the M. Night Shyamalan movie. Everyone forgot that he did. And look, just like the flea market, they have like a random box of like open tapes. It's like, you know, the VHS movie. You know, you put one of them in and it's like, you know, who knows what's on them. There's a time when you cry When there's tears So I just got out of Lou's Records, ended up getting The Hitcher. I remembered liking this one pretty much, it was kind of like The Hitchhiker. Um, I think this is the Canadian release, so it's got French on the side and stuff. It's one I remembered liking, it's from the company that also put out The Seed of Chucky on um, Blu-ray. But anyway though, we're going to get going, see where we go next. So we're going to end up getting food at Pee-wee, or you know, it's actually Pie Way, I always like to call it Pee-wee. Yeah, I always try and go like somewhere different in these videos, although like, you know, Pie Way or Pee-wee. You know, it's not like, like a favorite place of mine, but I'm going to give it another shot. It's one of those places, too, I haven't been to in like over a year. So it's like I'll give it another chance. Sure, cherries are out. Do you think the fact that the cherry's out is a, a bad sign? I don't know. We'll see. That one's out of all the flavors. Up oh, nookies for them. Yeah, so I ended up getting the uh, shrimp with the rice. Yeah, Pie Way is pretty much like a um, lesser expensive version, like you know, like a more of a to-go version of um, P.F. Chang's. Which you know is one of those kind of places you know you go to every so often, but you don't really, you know, even this stuff's kind of procured to eat in the car. But you know me. I always eat everything out in the car, usually listen to Howard Stern. The worst, though, is when I'm in the car, go to listen to Howard Stern, it's the wrap-up show, which is like, oh, no. You know, that happens sometimes in the day. But we're probably going to, you know, after this, there's a Walmart right over there, you know, just directly over there. Yeah, see, the Walmart's right there. This one, though, is kind of one of the smaller ones. Sometimes they have different stuff, but I'm probably going to still go to the one that I normally go to, because that one usually gets different horror movies and things like that. So we're probably going to eat this and then go over to the Walmart. So let's go on in. This is probably one of the smallest Walmarts around that I know of. It's at least like 20% the size of all the other Walmarts. They do have the food and stuff. And they even have, you know, Barbies. This is one of the things that came out today. 
I thought that was just okay. This one's so small, it's basically just this section right here, and then it goes down, and then right there is all the main DVDs, and then the little thing over there, but the smallest section I've ever seen for movies. Of course, they do have the $5 bins. And sometimes this one has like weird stuff you don't see in all of them. I haven't really dug to these ones since I was looking for that Lion's Gate set with, you know, 976 Eber 2. And, and then now that thing's everywhere. Yeah, so there wasn't really much in here. I'm still going to go to the other Walmart, but probably going to go over to Best Buy now. And the Best Buy we go with these for the trade and save. Now to see if I can find anything for the trade and save. I still have some more of these left. And I think this goes till the 10th or 11th, I'm pretty sure. So I'll see if I can find any 999 stuff that I don't have. When are they ever going to put the other season of this out? It's like, I feel like they probably never will. Maybe Shout Factory will pick it up. Look at how few horror there is. It's like nothing. That's it. That's it. That's the section. I really don't know what it is that's going on with that horror section. There's like nothing left. It's like de it's like dead. Wow, I was in there like waiting in line to do the trade and save forever. This guy was like doing something with his computer and it was taking forever to get out of there. But I ended up for seven eighty eight getting this three pack with Wedding Singer uh, going the distance and music and lyrics. I don't think I own all of these on Blu-ray or not. I'm pretty sure I don't have the Wedding Singer and music and lyrics. I'm pretty sure I don't. Now into Target we go. Like I was saying though, it's crazy the few amount of horror movies the Best Buy have has. I know I always say that all the time, but it was like absolutely, it was like 12 different movies. It's crazy. I kind of think they're certainly going to get rid of all the DVDs in there soon. They have the guilt trip here in some kind of like Mother's Day kind of packaging or something. Yeah, they have Beast of Southern Wild now here for $17.99. That's a, that's a pretty good price on that. That's like the cheapest I've seen it. That's one I let, definitely let me know if this is good. Some people said it was a lot like, you know, uh, Tree of Life, which I, you know, was not really my type of movie. But let me know if you think that's one worth buying. Well, here we are in the other Walmart that I always go to. So let's see if they have anything different. Here's something different. Like... Yeah, I don't know what this one was. Wicked. I remember seeing this one. I always look on uh, the digital bits for what's coming out. I don't know much about this one though. Yeah, so I didn't see much in here. I saw The Wicked. Don't know too much about that one. Might look into that one. But anyway though, guys, thanks again for all the support with these videos and the thumbs up. Glad you guys have really been enjoying these. As you can tell, I've been trying to do them more often since you guys have been liking them. Anyway though, definitely give this a thumbs up if you've been enjoying what I've been doing here. And I'll see you guys later.